first first half in terms of point total their lowest previous first half was 25 points against Florida State out in Hawaii a game they lost in overtime. Jason Singleton Michael Red Red the only player in the game in double figures in scoring he now has 14. How nicely does he step through and use the little kiss knockdown. Reese to the baseline. Let's see if Spencer can shake the back injury. His first shot is long. Run down on the sideline by Rod Murray. Scooty didn't look quick on that one either, did he, with his back troubles? He's had a lower back injury. Told us before the game tonight it feels a lot better. Murray missed a three. And Penn is there. Brian Brown back to Scooty Penn. Into Ken Johnson. And he was fouled on a reach in. Establishing that inside game early helped Ohio State touches with Johnson that time looked like he was going to make a little turn for the jump shot. That'll help the other people. Foul on Rod Murray is first. It's going to send Ken Johnson the line for two. Why is it that lefties look so good when they step through? Little kiss. It's amazing. It seems to come so naturally for them. Johnson made the first, and that's his first point. He's a relative newcomer to basketball. Didn't play basketball until he was in high school. Kind of got pressured into it because of his size. And his excellent leaping ability for his size, say the coaches, but still a work in progress. I think the big thing, Sean, is he's got to learn how to finish, and he'll get better at that. A little pressure full, and they got to recover. Marlon Towns, along with a jumper, and the ball caromed over the backboard. Near the conclusion of every NCAA tournament game, we'll select the Chevrolet most valuable player of the game from each team. To date, Chevrolet has contributed more than $7 million to the general scholarship funds of America's colleges and universities. Johnson wants it, takes it, and makes it. Wow, Bob Hoobrecht's got the flowing hook. Former great Washington player, way before my time, therefore yours. No one's way before your time. <laughs> Well, I, what you're suggesting is I fit right in on the Murray State bench, huh? Age-wise, seasoned veterans. Reese, bumped by Brian Brown. You don't see enough hooks. The sky hook, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, not quite there, but look at the little fake with the shoulder. Come back over the left shoulder and a little nylon, and that does help the little guys on the floor. When you talk about how Johnson's a work in progress, that looked like a practiced move. Very studied. Yes. Uh, what, move right, move left. Mm -hmm. uh, part of getting quicker and smoother is doing it. Repetition. Two shots. Aubrey Reese at the line, junior. He's from Auburn, Alabama, the hometown of Auburn University. A winner here earlier today over Winthrop. Three for three from the line. Is Reese missed the second? Wasn't happy about it. Rebound, Jason Singleton. They got to step it up now defensively. Their game is a leak out game if they can rebound. Murray State down by 16. They play off Singleton, but he won't take that three. Did you see O'Brien's signature on this team? A little patient. That's a tough, that's tough when you back dribble. But they generally run a little clock unless a good one shows. Michael Red missed that fadeaway. Now Marlon Towns left it for Dwayne Virgil. Mentioned Virgil and Gay, they're from Trinidad. I really understand their families are really encouraging them to try to stay in the United States. When their collegiate days are over, the situation in this country much better than it is back home in Trinidad. Aubrey Reese with three. Murray State is within 13 points. Reese has 13 for the night. And good help defensively. There's hustle a little bit now, Sean. Towns called a timeout as he was going out of bounds. They stayed on the floor, was poised, didn't bite whatsoever, and uh, went up just a tad after. Did not keep it in play, unfortunately, for Ohio State. All inbounded to Dwayne Virgil. Look at that shot. Reese with a shot clock running out. Smart, huh? I think he's the only one in that club that knew exactly. Shot it with two on the clock. 
16 for Reese. He's almost single-handedly getting Murray State back into the game here. And then he bumped Penn with the chest, and that's three fouls on Reese. Well, we've seen his ability to win games, get them back in games, and this one not quite as dramatic as the final in their championship, but uh, he does have range, and he's got a little courage. Largest lead for Ohio State was 17 points. It's down to 10. Penn trying to get it back to 13. No luck there. Rattled out. Great play by Singleton to take it away from Virgil and save it in the corner. And that's why you like point guard. You see him drag it out. Red shot was deflected by Virgil. Out of bounds. Last touch by Brian Brown. Now the ability of Scooney to recognize. You think you've got one going the other way. Nice hustle. The save. But right here, the back down, they get a pretty good shot for Michael Red. Chance to get it back into single digits now for the Racers of Murray State. Reese. Air ball. And Kick. nobody back. This is a three on all. Oh, Red. Wow. He can do it with either hand or with both hands. But that's simply not reacting defensively. That's that they had a bunch of white shirts out there, Sean. The miss for Murray State, and then an air ball fired up by Marlon Towns. Finally, Singleton had possession, and the numbers favor the Buckeyes again. 40 to 28, Ohio State. Under 15 and a half remaining in the second half. Isaac Spencer, not even a half a player right now. He is every trip laboring. Just so hard for him to compete with his back problems. What a shame. Play all year to get to this point. And check called against Towns. And that's the third foul on Marlon Towns. So 12 and on the move. So they had to play some biggies. Mark Godfrey they left there, went to Alabama. Ray Cunningham. Spencer trying to get it up. Banks it in from straight on and then winces as he heads up court. Oh, he is dying out there. Well, that kiss, he can forget about, huh? When you, when you have back problems and you have to play and labor at this level. Very tough on you. Reese passed it up to Red using a pen screen. Red leans in. And it was lucky that the foul was on the defense because he was really leaning into that defender. He said he's a warrior, a competitor. You didn't see that, so they missed that energy on the floor. Red, two for two from the line. 7 for 13 from the field. He now has 17 points. Murray State, they're from Murray, Kentucky, in the western part of Kentucky. About 45 minutes from Paducah, they tell us. 0 and 1 this year versus teams in the tournament. And a foul of rebounding action against Ohio State's George Reese. Two fouls on the team, two personals on Reese. And right now, Sean, they're hanging around Murray State. It's a matter of adjusting, getting a comfort zone on the offensive end, but more importantly, screening off and maybe getting a turnover to a basket from their defense. Good hands. And a leak out. And it's red. Oh, what a pass to Johnson for the dunk. That's why you run the floor, big guy. Send it in, big fella. Set up by the D, though, and that's something that when you watch O'Brien over the years, it's a subtle persuasion. Play up on you, make it tough on the bounce, get a hand in the passing lane. The lead back up to 13 for the Buckeyes. Under 14 minutes left. Foul, count it, chance for three for Isaac Spencer. He's trying to close out the pain, the agony, the difficulty, and take advantage, but Sanderson getting down and dirty in the passing lane, just solid play. Wow. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh. And then the counter at the other end, get it into the big guy, let him do some damage. Savovich, pardon me, was the guy in the passing lane with the contribution. Everybody better play that end. Spencer 0 for 1 from the line. 
has that one to finish the three point play and get the deficit back to 10 for Murray State. Seven points for Isaac Spencer. He had a big game in their NCAA loss last year to Rhode Island 18 points and 12 rebounds. Solovich with a big three. And that's just too easy. A little flare screen to the sideline. Six points for Boban Sabovic. He's been bothered by a right ankle injury lately. Easy. Foul, a little too frisky, was Jason Singleton. Well, you mentioned the recruiting next year. So outstanding performers. Well, how about this one? The ability to use the flare, space out, and make deep nylon strokes. Does that make you feel pretty good? Mm -hmm. Ooh, he is solid. Defensive play and then stroking it deep. Marie short with the three. Spencer much more active here in the last few minutes. Reese thought about a long three. Spencer good reach in by Penn to poke it away. Nice ball movement. Virgil missed the open baseline jumper. Penn a nice job. Making numbers. Savovic trying to avoid the contact. A wild shot red there to aid Savovic. And that was just terrific by Penn. Finding and then red filling ends up the beneficiary. 19 now for Michael Red, who scored 500 points or more in each of his first two seasons. He is a sophomore. The only player in Ohio State history to score 500 points in three seasons is Jerry Lucas. Virgil missed the putback. Another tip wouldn't go. And they're having success on the league house. Singleton, a hard foul. Spencer goes right to him. Foul on Spenaga, Creighton, and Oklahoma State. The nine seed beat number eight Syracuse here today. And Penn and uh, Florida playing, so uh, one of their clubs having a little difficulty. The Gators trailing the Quakers at the half. Out west. They're playing that game in Seattle. Singleton. And all of a sudden, the lead is back to 17. <laughs> Directors right now. <laughs> the the AD's call them. <laughs> <laughs> nice pass from Towns. Oh, oh my goodness. Towns to Page. He missed it. They waved off that basket. Oh, God. My goodness. Please. Most mere mortals aren't used to seeing that. Wow. If he fouled, it was on the way down. Oh, my goodness. Oh, well, boy. there's some bumps, but oh, that was pretty. Ray Cunningham. Oh, wow. That's he terrible. can elevate. It was clean up top. Oh, the bench all in support. Vester with great composure over there. Jim Hatfield standing up as well, supporting their guy. He can certainly score. Oh. Singleton at the line. Watson Singleton to the line. What a turnaround. Razor's over the limit, so Singleton makes the front end of a one and one. You mentioned earlier the experience on that bench, not only Anderson at age 62, but there's Bill Hodges. This is his first time in an NCAA tournament game since he led Indiana State. To the national championship game in 1979 as the head coach for Larry Bird and company when they lost to Magic Johnson in Michigan State in that memorable final. Bills bounced around but has not been back to the NCAA tournament since. Last year he was teaching and coaching high school basketball in Fort Myers, Florida. And when Anderson got the job, he decided to ask Bill Hodges to come as an assistant. It looks great. And by the way, so he only take the job if he could wear a sweater. He doesn't right. want to wear a coat and tie and plays golf on Sunday. And the book said he was 47. No, he's 56. Well, before the game went over, I said, Larry Bird is 47. <laughs> uh, How about the socks? Did they match the sweater? Uh, look at that. Once you get over 50, who's counting? Or who's looking? He's got the stripes and the stripes. Uh, it's been a happy staff. They hung tough, won their tournament. Well, and he's still talking about happy. I think he's still talking about Cunningham's uh, jam. Yeah, I would be follow. too. Jim Hatfield, the other assistant over there on the bench, another first-year assistant, real veteran. 
He hasn't been to the tournament. There's Jim since 1985 when he was an assistant to Joe B. Hall at Kentucky. Been out of Division I coaching for 13 years. Was coach and athletic director at the University of the Virgin Islands the last three years. Former head coach at Mississippi State. Once led the Bulldogs to a number 13 national ranking. A lot of experience on that staff. And Chris Willard is a young assistant, the other assistant on that staff who came from UCLA and stayed when Mark Godfrey left. There's Chris. So they have a real nice blend. <laughs> they said Chris is the driver. He goes in and <laughs> scouts and then waves them in. Well, yesterday, Tavestra and Chris Willard with him everywhere he went. He said, This is my right hand man right here. He's really a very important man, a bright young coach. And they had the AD and Jay St. Louis as well, who's in the Maybe middle that's of the job search. Was talking to. Well, they, I've heard that too. Under 10 minutes left. Ohio State leads by 16. Ray Cunningham pulled down the rebound and dribbled all the way to the arc himself. Towns open. They need it. They get it. Now extending the floor, but in a reasonable fashion. I don't think they can sell out by that gamble trap and give up passes over the top, and they don't. This is solid. Now stay at home defense, check out, see if you can get a run out. The first points of the game for Towns. Red, a tip of his own miss, and it tipped out to Towns. Cunningham from the elbow, short. Singleton rebounded and alertly gave it to Scooney Penn. But what an advantage. Salem Mass. I'm sorry, Chum. What an advantage having a guy that runs the show and knows what he's doing for a coach. Johnson's shot long. Saved along the end line by Virgil. Ahead of the pack is Floyd. Towns for three. Good. They like to run. And thus the name racers. And a timeout called by Ohio State. It's a 20 as Murray State has cut the deficit to 10. Game. For Ohio State, Brian Brown will play it in with Penn, Red, Singleton, and Johnson. And another timeout called as Brown couldn't get it in. This is an enemy. Struggles through the first year. With friends and family really in Boston. He's virtually alone with the exception of his staff. Mm -hmm. And now he's the toast of the town. He's settled in. Very happy there. And they've settled in. Singleton. Singleton has seven points. And last year was not an easy year to be the coach. I mean, it changes with the losing streak, the dismissal of players. And yet he was going to do it his way. And I think that's the comfort of having gone through that at Boston College. Coach of the year in the Big East, the Atlantic Temple, who's kept on easy. <laughs> and it's Big Ted. He just brings home the trophies. Big Ten coach of the year this year. Was Jim O'Brien. Reese strong down the lane and foul. And the future is bright for Ohio State. Just two seniors on the team. The two who were not asked to leave but decided to tough it out. Jason Singleton's one of them. And Deshaun Coleman the other. So they'll have a good team again. They have a beautiful new arena. Value City Arena. Seats more than 19,000. 52 sweet shot and over $110 million. That's in your eight. Reese now four out of five from the line. Emmy Award winner John LaRaquette returns to television as Royal Payne. An innkeeper with attitude. Thought it was going to be a color commentator with attitude. Don't <laughs> miss the series premiere of Payne Monday after Raymond on CBS. We've had both this trip. <laughs> Making free throws. Which is defense set. And rebounds tonight for Jason Singleton of Ohio State. Lead 11. Penn drives. Singleton couldn't tip it in. Towns the push for the Racers. A good judgment right now. Towns a miss. Towns in the corner. Did he get a timeout? No. He was.